So that guy just yelled at me. Welcome back to another video. And today's video is another will it ride video. I haven't done one of these in about a month. Just been so busy, been trying to have really good sessions with my friends. You guys requested really good sessions, so I put those videos out for you. So today, I wanted to try to utilize the electric skateboard I have and try to mount it to my bike in some way. So I posted a photo on my activity feed on YouTube, which I'll link right here. I ended up attaching the skateboard to the front of my bike, ended up not working out. I asked all of you guys out there for pointers or some type of like help on how to mount it or what I should do to mount it, and you guys came up with this. Boom. So I ended up using one of my Sea Sucker fork mounts and I bolted it to a two x four. I ended up bolting another two x four to the bottom of the board, sandwiching the board between the two two x fours. And uh, that's the best I can do because I don't wanna drill into the board and risk messing up any electronics and not having the board actually move when we're trying to do this. On another note, this is test number two that I'm trying to put this board through. Before we put it through the ultimate test, before we take it back to Travis Pastrana's house, and do something really big with it. All right guys, we are mounted up. The next step I wanna do is I wanna take it to the parking lot that's right there behind me. It is the biggest parking lot I could find in my area. It's flat, there's no cars. It actually has guardrails on each side so nobody can get in there. I wanna see how fast I can get this thing up to. I wanna see the durability. I wanna see how this thing turns because I do not wanna take this thing to the skate park and have any type of issue where I can't turn, I run into something, I get hurt. Uh, I know that you guys will probably find some type of enjoyment out of that, but I like to be safe because this thing can go 25 miles per hour. Yeah, 25 mile an hour, this electric skateboard. So uh, let's toss the drone up right now. Let's put the Rilo on and uh, get down to that parking lot and get some cool shots. This thing is so fast. I'm gonna set the tripod up with this camera at like a distance. I'm just gonna come flying right by it because I really don't think that the Rilo or the drone really does it justice. And this thing, this thing definitely still goes 25 miles an hour. Going one direction, I have a headwind. The other one, I don't have a headwind. So I'm gonna go with the wind to my back and see how fast we can go. Let's get risky. Let's try one shot holding the camera and I'll uh, put my feet on the pegs. Whoa! This thing is fast, dude. I'm gonna put you guys on that pole that just went by. I'm gonna put you guys right on there. Try to get a uh, good speed angle for you. All right, I'm gonna come flying from, from over there at the bus station. Man, it's not even 9.30 right now and it is cooking. I am dying right now. But I'm gonna take this whole thing apart. I'm gonna put it in my car. I gotta put my wheel back on my bike in order to put it on my car. And then I have to take my wheel and everything back off my bike. Anyway, you, you'll you see the time lapse when we get there.
been sweating like crazy. I also forgot to mention it is about 93 degrees out right now at 10 a.m. with the humidity at about 86%. So this is a pretty treacherous conditions. No wonder nobody's out here right now. As you can see behind me, that thing is solid, all put together, we're gonna get it going. I left it on setting four, but I'm switching the angle up a little bit. I got this little extender pole right here for the 360 camera. Uh, if you guys have seen my previous videos with the Rilo 360, these angles look pretty sick. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna switch right to that angle right now. This thing is torquey. These trucks are really loose too. So let's see if we can, let's see if we can make it up this ramp. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> Nope, I am not dropping it on that thing. I think it's safe to say that this uh, that the skate park is not the ideal location for this right now because I am completely bottomed out. There's no way I'm making it up a ramp. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, there's a little bit of air. Oh, shit. So this thing's pretty badass. Uh, I really hope these Rilo angles are actually doing justice. I'm tossing the drone up right now. I'm gonna see how high I can get around that bowl corner carving. It feels really crazy because it feels like your back end is swinging out as if you're like in a drift. So uh, I really hope that the drone can get this angle. Let's toss it up. Drone's up there. I'm gonna point this camera at the bull corner and give you guys a couple different angles of uh, it drifting. It just feels like it's drifting. It, it might just feel cooler than it really looks, so let's find out. All right, so I took the Rilo off, drone's still up in the air. That just means I can go faster. I don't have to really worry about chest cam hitting the ground. I'm gonna go as fast as I can around that bull corner. And uh, yeah, enjoy. It should be sick. All right, now you guys can't see it. When I go around that bowl corner, there's like a bank on the other side, and I'm like cruising around the bowl corner. I end up popping out. I think it's like a little uh, bunny hop ollie. So we're gonna we're gonna swap you over to that side right now. This thing is turning out to be a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought it would break from underneath me in like a heartbeat. So yeah, this little this little bank is the one I'm talking about right here. I pop out of this bank. See how much air we can get real quick. Let's uh let's hope I don't hit the camera. I broke it. I squeezed my handbrake on my bike like that was actually gonna do anything. And then I tried to hit the brake as quick as I could on the board and end up going up that china bank right there, kind of sliding sideways and the entire mount just broke off the back of the frame. So I don't think I'm fixing this. Yeah, that thing is uh, thing's pretty stuck on there. solid. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I did not anticipate the board actually lasting that long. I'm really stoked to be able to get at least a couple of the clips out that you saw. Uh, I put my wheel back on. Let me get a regular session and maybe I'm going to film a second video right now. But if you guys want to know more information about the X-Way board, feel free to go in the description below. There's a link for you guys. If you like this video, drop a like. If you love it, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.